What do you think about the um, role of television and uh, the internet as, uh, to spread, ar to transmit architecture to a broader audience, to a um, wider range of people? Uh, I think it has a double side. It has that uh, ar architecture, of course, is traditionally very physical, but also has been historically retransmitted. Uh, many people sustain architecture as a 3D object that cannot be represented by its simulacra. And this could be a moralist attitude toward the physicalness of architecture. Today, internet uh, gives authority to mistakes. And I don't want to be a purist. I'm saying that, in a way, from w when Google stay fulfilled, it has 12s. From that day on, it will have 12s. This is also from Wikipedia. So nobody checks the news anymore. There's two ways of doing. One is over overemphasizing the communicating principles of architecture. Architecture is just semiotics. On the other side, the reaction saying architecture is, in a sense, of the weight of the material, this sort of German attitude. Right. These are two extremes. Today, I think the worlds have all these two levels. They mix in very complex ways. The web is not only a place to communicate. It is also a place uh, where you can uh, exchange uh, something. So to think that the web is the place where an institution, a magazine, or uh, somebody, university, can communicate is a very uh, old way to think of communication. Uh, it's only changing the, the system, but it's the same than TV. It's a one way. It's the same way. But the web is offering a, a much more potential than an exchange of information and conversation. Of course, there, there are, uh, we have to find some rules in order to make this productive. But the fact that, uh, you know, architecture is for sure a, a physical event and uh, for sure when you do a book, you do a magazine, you do a, a, an exhibition or you do something else, you speak of something which is not there. But this is normal. It is normal in the book, it's normal in the web, it's normal in a, on the TV, it's normal everywhere. So it's a way to speak of something which is missing every time. And I think that in this respect, the web could be very interesting. Uh, we also interviewed Aaron Betsky these days, and he said that the architecture is not building, yeah. but it is the whole process around building. Yeah. It, it is more the semiological uh, part of it, as you were, you were discussing before. Uh, How do you feel about this? Uh, I think that, I mean, uh, that this will take, that the relationship between figures and, for example, social contents. You know, there was this magazine by the Carlos called Spazio Società. This is the big question of architecture in general, that we don't own our means of production. So on one side, some architects use the client or the society just as you know, ways to get thing, things done. But in the other, I think it's the other way around. Societies choose icons or places to be represented. I think it's true that you cannot just go back to architecture such as physical place, the, 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 the meanings a much richer. It's not that architecture is only building, architecture is only experimentation or thinking and this and thing. It's that uh, there is a, a process, and architecture is both, but there is a moment in which you pay attention more to certain things, uh, other moments in which you pay attention to more other things. And I feel that the feeling that Aaron has expressed for an interest in architecture experimentation is very important today because I feel that we are at the end of a kind of a cycle and uh, in a certain way, we have to start to build a, a new cultural platform for the architecture of the next uh, 10, 15, 20 years. And in order to do that, you have to open again to think experimentations. There are no solution ready. And uh, that I, I, I share a lot, this kind of uh, uh, necessity. We've witnessed some technical difficulties during the conference. <laughs> and uh, some of the speakers, such, such as you, have uh, perform in an entertaining way to balance at some points with the mask. It you won the last... Uh, <laughs> okay. If you won, if, if you no, I, was not, I was not performing <laughs> that. You if were you performing show, that. I mean, uh, if the show must go on, we can do it. <laughs> <laughs>
in the um, Congress, there were uh, uh, different uh, uh, participants. And uh, I think that the people that they performed better, not all the time, but some of the ones that performed better, they were the people that uh, we, they were also willing to communicate. Other people, they were defending themselves behind the technicality of their specific uh, discipline. And I think, I think it was, if you come to a Congress like this one, you have really to be willing to communicate it to the public. So the capacity of these people to overcome also technical failure was showing that they were really willing to communicate. But I feel that the problem is before, is uh, which kind of people do you want to come here? Whom are you willing to speak? And which language do you want to speak to the people? What do you think about the uh, general communi the, trans um, the communication of this festival? Because it is really, it is really, it is really, um, it is really an inside discourse. Because we all emphasize communication, but not, not what we want to communicate. I feel that not a lot of people, they have something to say. And that is the real problem.